These days when planning to buy a new phone and all the charge feature with screen size and camera quality is also a very important factor. As we expect more from our phones, we want them to last all day on a single charge. This is why fast chargers are becoming easily available and this makes many users wonder whether or not a high capacity charger can damage a phone's battery or not. Over time, can it degrade the phone's power storing capacity? And what is the reason behind the wear and tear of the phone's battery? To get the answers, watch this week Friday video till the end with me and learn about the effect of fast charging on a smartphone's battery life. Let's just understand what is fast charging first. Fast charging is a feature that allows charging the device in just a fraction of the time it would typically take and it tops up a phone's battery very easily. Anything above 10 watts is considered fast charging. However, there's no industry standard for it. The higher the number, the quicker the charging rate. But can this damage the device's battery? This question is quite common due to the heat associated with fast charging. Still, as all phones use lithium ion rechargeable batteries, fast charging systems strive to reduce the heat as much as possible while increasing the output because physics suggests that the rapid influx of power is expected to produce more heat on your device. Yeah, physics. Therefore, to make fast charging safe for your battery, the charging process is divided into two phases. Well, there are two phases for fast charging processes. The first phase is supposed to top up the battery rapidly when it is still at a lower capacity. On the other hand, the second phase slows up the charging process to lower the heat and in turn reduces the stress on the smartphone's battery health. Now the question is, is fast charging safe? Well, this explains why fast charging is safe, but remember the safety of fast charging on your smartphone's battery still boils down to the management system that your manufacturer has implemented. Oh yeah. Moreover, damage caused to the battery is rare if everything's well managed inside. A battery's management system closely monitors the two charge phases. It drops the charging speed during the second phase to give the battery time to absorb the charge and avoid issues. So it can take 10 minutes to get those last few percentage points, you know. But once the battery capacity reaches that coded level, the charging speeds are reduced to prevent stress and heat that damage the battery's longevity. Also, your phone may automatically turn off fast charging if your device's temperature exceeds a certain level. So what's the bottom line? It is that fast charging won't impact your battery life. But the physics behind the technology means you shouldn't expect the battery to last longer than using a conventional slow charging brick. So, does this mean there's nothing to worry about regarding fast charging effects on battery life? As explained, you don't have to worry much about it because the charging management system looks after the battery to prevent damage. However, there are chances that the battery life will be affected but not to a substantial extent that warrants serious concern. So it shouldn't worry too much. Your doubts about fast charging are probably out of the way now. Why not use fast charging and keep the phone's battery up? What are your thoughts on the topic? Do share with us in the comment section. I'm surely gonna use fast charger. If you like the information, give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.